me how to do the tutorial afterwards. I just figured we would sit and chat while I do my makeup. We're going to get our nice, super simple, dewy summer look on while we chat. How does that sound? So, first off, while we chat, I cranked up my brightness. Let me know if you like this uh, brighter, better to see more clearly, or if you liked it um, more natural, a uh, little bit less bright. Last time I did it, I'm going to go, ooh, what am I going to do first? Should we do eyes or face first? My face is looking a little rough today. Let's do face first. Okay, so I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It is pretty overexposed. We'll see how this looks. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that on to my face. It's super creamy. Oh, I'll give myself a massage. Mm, I feel so good. I love this so much. I've almost used it all. And I got it in March. It's almost all gone. Actually, if I got it in March. Wow, it has lasted me quite a while. That's impressive. I'm going to add just a little more to the under eyes. Because they're really dry out in this climate here this is supposed to be anti-aging so I love that now that I'm 25 years old getting up there just kidding okay I'm now going to take the Tarte skincare high performance naturals uh, maracuja sea brightener eye treatment this is just a sample but I put it on the other day and thought it felt so good so we're gonna do it again today's Wednesday right Oh man, where does the time go? I have so much to do in my life. I always feel so busy. People think, she works from home, she must do nothing. Dude, the amount of stuff you have to learn to be like an online marketer and business person, so much. I'm gonna take the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul and I'm gonna put a little of that, that on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna mix it in with the e.l.f oil-free SPF sunscreen foundation and I already know that the pump's not working anymore because I've used that area up so I'm going to try to take some on the wand and wipe it onto my hand to mix it with my primer because I want a natural finish I don't want that super foundation-y look I'm going to mix them together and I just really to be honest I kind of want the sunscreen that's in that so that's what I'm going to use that and I'm going to apply it on the face I'm going to take this brush so while I look like a clown, um, I have a video I'm making for you guys that will hopefully be up before this one is, that is uh, tips for high school. And they're much more in depth tips. They're not just like little goofy tips like make it to class on time, which is a good tip, BTW. But I made a video for that. Wow, this is really shearing out when I use a brush. Maybe I will use more. Um, also, so I have been learning a lot of things through um, getting like a beauty diploma through this uh, little academy online and I learned how to make a bunch of stuff like make skincare and so if you guys are interested I would love to do a video like teaching you how to make lip scrubs and face and body scrubs because I think that'd be really fun. And they're super simple and super good for you because they're all really natural ingredients that we don't realize that we need so bad. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more of that foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to go over the top for a more, well, beauty sponge. So if you'd be interested in that, totally leave me a comment. Um, also, I'll probably do a video in a couple months about the keto diet because I've been on it to regulate hormones. And I've been loving it. I The last few days I haven't felt very good. But I think that's not keto related. But I thought maybe it'd be cool to do a video about it. Because I feel like I hear the trend going around. But I don't feel like anybody sits down and explains it. So if you'd be interested in that, also leave me a comment. What are some things you guys want to see me do? Do you want to see tutorials with specific palettes? Do you want to see how to hide acne? Do you want to see um, a video about all about skincare that tells you all the things your skin really needs that you're probably not doing? You'd be shocked by what you eat and what you do with your life, how that affects your skin. Like, it is amazing how much your life affects your skincare. And sugars are so bad for your whole, like your skin and your body. 
Who knew? My favorite thing in the world, sugar. So bad for your skin. So I did add a little bit more of this foundation than I originally intended to just because it was quite like light coverage. I'm gonna wipe that down the neck just a little so it blends in and we don't just have some funny line. Always make sure to check your hairline so you don't look like somebody just painted a mask on you. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the Key Best Shape Tape. It's kind of funny because it says Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I think that might be what the actual shape tape says. It says the exact same thing. Corrector contours. It says the exact same thing as the actual shape tape. They just had to change the name so they wouldn't get sued. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to take some of that on my under eyes. Any area I want brighter. My husband and I were thinking about moving because... You can't, he's a goldsmith and he's really good at jewelry, but we can't find any jewelry jobs where we live because the local economy just can't support luxury items. And like high-end jewelry is basically a luxury item. Like not everybody can afford to go buy a $200 necklace um, or even higher than that. Like you'd be shocked how much things cost. But anyways... So we thought about moving so he could get one of those jobs, but sadly, the areas where we could find him jobs that we were like okay to move to, the jobs only paid like $13 an hour. Like, there's no way you can live on that. It was insane. Then we had some other job offers, but we kind of realized we want to live here. We want to stay here, I think. All of our family's around, so if we have babies, they're here already. Um, all, like my family's business is here his family's business is here we love the church we go to I mean there's so many things that are here that are drawing us to stay here so I think we might actually you know stay here I am going to go into this is a bare minerals palette I don't even know if this is sold anymore my Nana gave it to me and it's in a little rough shape but it has a couple colors in it that I'm gonna use I'm gonna take the Luxie 512 brush, small contouring brush. I'm going to dip into the Bare Minerals bronzer and just put that on my cheeks. Well, you know what I mean. I'm going to apply it to my face. What was I saying? And then if we stay here, there is a job I can work that allows me to still run my business while I'm there. And that would be really cool. It doesn't pay a lot, but the flexibility of it is what would be perfect for me. And then also my parents are opening a coffee shop and it would be really good to be around to help them and it would be fun to be a barista in my personal opinion because I love coffee. I would love to be a barista. Continue. Casey. Um, so eventually we want my husband to be able to have his own jewelry business but and maybe it has to be online instead of tangible or maybe he'll do repairs and then sell custom things online stuff like that anyways what was I saying so since we're staying we have to kind of decide like are we gonna stay living where we're living because we really like the house we're in but um, when you rent you can't really do quite as much customizable things and our value is gonna like you know we're not paying into anything it's just we're renting to keep a house over and over so it would be a better investment to buy a house if we're planning to stay in the area, which is kind of what we're thinking. So now we just have to figure out if we're going to buy a house and make that investment or we have considered, this is going to sound kind of funny to some people, my parents own a little cabin up um, on a mountain and it's remotely, like it seems really remote but it's pretty close to town. I think it's probably a 25 to 30 minute drive from town um, and then if the weather's bad it'd be a little longer but we've debated moving to that cabin working three days a week and um, saving money because we'd be saving like a thousand dollars a month to live there just because it would be so much cheaper to live there we would have to add some things because it is pretty rustic at the moment so we would have to add a couple things but 
I'm an adventurer. I want to. I'm all about it. I'm just have to see if my husband's up for that kind of adventure. I'm going to go into the Pure Sculptor palette and I'm going to use the uh, lighter brown shade called Inventor right here. And I'm just going to ever so lightly contour with this because it's pretty dark for me as it is. So I only want to put it where I want to make that value happen. So I'm not adding much of it and I'm blending it out really well. And then tapping off any excess. So to be honest, I, I would love to live in our cabin. I love the idea. We would have to get some water tanks. Um, we'd have to get a propane shower and a, like, or a solar shower. We'd have to make some improvements to move up there right now. But I love the idea. It'd be like, because I've always wanted to live tiny. And it'd be like way more plausible way of living tiny because it is, um, it's bigger than just a tiny home in my personal opinion, I think it is. Maybe it is tiny home size, I don't know. But it would be so much fun, I would love it. I could do vlogs up on a mountaintop, do my makeup on like out by the mountains. I just think it would be such a cool experience and it would be a cool way to detach and just be with each other more, I think. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So that's an idea, is living up in our cabin. And then I could get Sean, what is his name? Is it Sean? There's a guy who does living big, or living, oh, what is it called? Um, living big in a tiny home or something like that. He has this really cool series here on YouTube. I'll link it below. Um, and he does tiny host, house tours and all kinds of cool stuff. I love it. I should get some stuff on my eyes. Alright, we're going to finish the face after I do the eyes. So right now I'm going to go into the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It's a lightweight invisible finish. It's supposed to work on all skin tones. It's not my favorite primer, but it's working for the moment. I definitely prefer the Pure Cosmetics uh, Get a Grip Primer. That stuff gets a grip. Oh man, it is on you for days. It is so good. I don't remember what I was saying. Okay, so I like the idea of living in a tiny home, but I also like the idea of this house we looked at, that we both love the house so much, but it would be like a 40 minute drive, 40 to 45 minute drive to work every day, but if we were only working three days a week, or maybe even four days a week, it would be easier to drive that 45 minute commute. But at the same time, if we were riding together, we would have 45 minutes together every day. Well, we'd have 45 minutes on the way there and 45 minutes on the way back every day to talk. And I think that would be actually not bad for us because it would give us that social time together. Um, so that's not necessarily bad, like me and my husband, I mean. And I'm going to set that down with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm just talking while I'm doing my makeup. Okay. And the house we, and it's also the house we love is like right near the, like really close to my parents. So if we had kids, that's really nice. It's still relatively close to his parents for if we had kids and for when we work for them. And then the other thing that's cool is it's right next to the business my parents are starting. And so if they need my help or if um, they do hire me as a barista, I'm right there. And that is pretty cool because I could literally walk to their business. It, it's awesome in that aspect. And then my grandparents live right there too. And so I could um, help check on them since their health isn't as great as it used to be. And help them when they need it instead of having to drive like an hour to help them. But at the same time I live right next to my grandpa now. But I'm so darn busy I barely see him anyways. So. Um, I'm going to go back into that Bare Minerals bronzer. I'm going to take the fluffy end and dip it in that bronzer and apply it to my transition. And I'll keep talking while I do that. Because y'all could be, you know, doing your makeup at the same time as me. Who knows? So this house we love, oh my gosh, we both loved it. Which is awesome because when you're married, like, people have different tastes, you know, and different, they're willing to work with different things. And my husband has a higher standard of living than I do, which I think is funny because I'm the girl. But he definitely needs, he 
he wants less of the fix up stuff because he works hard all day long. So he doesn't necessarily want to work hard all day long outside physically and then come home and have to fix his house too. Like he wants to have a place to relax. And I, I get that. I totally respect that because he works so hard all day long. He should be able to chill out when he comes home. So essentially we picked one that we both really like. It does need new carpet in a couple of the rooms and it needs uh, eventually the flooring will have to be redone because the people who did it were super silly and like put hardwood this way and then hardwood this way next to each other where you can see it which is like a total DIY no you're supposed to make your flooring all go the same way silly people anyways and then they refinished the house and instead of doing sheetrock on the inside to remodel because I think it was older they put up OSB like wafer board and I'll put a picture up here so you know what that is if you don't know and it's all over inside and so we would have to probably texture that and then paint it to make it look more real instead of having to bite the bullet to pay for new sheetrock um, but the house is so big it would be like a forever home for us because it has enough room for if we had kids it has we could both have an office and still have room and it has a place for a garage so we could work on our vehicles it's got a separate run um, like a separate dog run so I could put um, people out in the front yard and then put my dog in the backyard if I didn't want them together at the same time I mean there's so many really cool things about it it's right across the street from a park so if our kids wanted to go play I could just go with them over to the park right across the street I mean I'm trying not to get my hopes up because I love that house so much. So much. Okay. I'm going to take the back of this brush. Um, this is from Farah, And I'm going to take this more uh, flat end and take that bronzer and put it under my eyes. Like on the lower lash line. Um, kind of to replace an eyeliner. So I love that house so much. And it has like an already made business office with a separate entrance and separate bedroom which would be perfect so if Matt wanted to do like custom jewelry repairs and his own jewelry he would have an office to consult people and to do repairs in it would be so great and it's off the garage there's like five toilets in the house it's so weird I'm gonna take this fluffy brush right here and I'm gonna go into that same darker shade in the pure cosmetics palette and it's just a dark brown and I'm going to deepen out the outside just a little more on my eyes. There's a bunch of bathrooms in the house which is awesome. One of them has a big bathtub uh, with jets and I think that would be so much fun. It would be an awesome place to relax. A uh, dirt bike guy just drove by. Um, I'm going to take that darker shade and go just a little bit on the outer third of the eye on the lower lash line connecting up to the upper uh, connecting to the lid so it flows nicely and then I'll just blend those out a little bit blending is your best friend okay I'm going to take a brush with no pigment and just brush over the top to blend it out and anyways so we're deciding between the house we love so much that is out in the boondocks or moving to the cabin or maybe looking for houses more nearby that aren't so far away. So let's put on some mascara and then we'll finish off the face. How's that sound? I may pause the camera while I do this so it can not overheat while I put on some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Slash Paradise Mascara. I'm trying this one. It doesn't work for me if I don't add water to it. It's other, Otherwise it's like super, super dry formula and it wouldn't even go on my lashes. I hated it at first. But then when I added some water to it, it seemed to work a little better. So I'm going to turn off the camera to put the mascara on and I will be right back. Okay. We're going to continue the face now that the mascara is on. We're going to go into the Rimmel London Radiance Brick. And I'm going to take, uh, this is a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to swirl in there. You kind of have to really swirl it in there to get any product. 
I found at first like nothing would come off. And I'm just going to kind of top my bronzer and contour with that because it gives this kind of pretty radiance. Except that you have to like scratch the bloody thing to get anything off. There we go. Now let's get some shimmer up in here. You don't need too, too much though. Don't go too crazy. I think I already did. All right, I'm gonna blend that around the face. Wee, blending. Ooh, on here I look like I got a giant stripe on my face. It's not. It looks much more normal in real life, I promise. Maybe I should not do this high of an ISO. Maybe my lighting shouldn't be so bright. I'm gonna put that away before I go too hard. And I'm going to go into the Alomar Cosmetics brush, or brush, blush trio. And I'm gonna go into this shade Scorcher first. I'm gonna take this brush uh, by Mada. Mada. It's kind of my blush brush right now. I know it needs cleaned again, but I'm gonna go into the shade Scorcher. I'm gonna apply that on my as my blush. I'm gonna kind of go a little bit above the contour there, and do this on this side. And I'm not gonna go like this only because actually, if you only do this when your face rests. It will make your blush dra like hang lower and it'll make your face appear to be like dragging down. So it'd actually be better to apply your blush when you're normal. Like when your face is at its normal resting point. You should always apply, I know this sounds funny because we make such funny faces when we do our makeup, but applying your makeup at its resting point, like your face makeup, at the way your face always looks instead of changing the structure of your face is actually the best way to do it because that's why when you do other people's makeup, it always looks so good, at least for me. When you do other people's makeup, because instead of changing your structure like this or like this or like this, because you're doing it the way your face is actually formed, and so your makeup is going to be made for the way your face is actually formed, not the way you're making your face look. All right, do we want any pink? Maybe we'll do a tad bit of this shade Pariso, just a little bit right on the apples of the cheeks. Yeah, I like that. Makes it look warm. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of bounce over that so I blend it in a little bit to the other formulas I have on the face. Beauty sponge. I always say beauty blender just because it looks like one. This is a beauty sponge by, I believe this is Beauty Glaze. This is from a Glam and Beauty packet I actually bought at Walmart. And what's funny is I really love this. I got a text message. I really love this sponge more than a lot of the sponges I own, so highly recommend. So I'm just bouncing over any product to make it melt into the skin and blend out. Now I'm going to go into the, what, let's see. I think I'm going to take, this is my one of my favorite subtle highlights. This is the Tarte Stunner Amazonian Clay Highlighter. It's in the shade Stunner. So I'm going to highlight the tops of the cheeks. Actually, this is a little more glittery than I wanted it with this dewy look. I might switch. I'm just going to do really subtle with that one. I might change to a different highlighter. That's making my texture show up a little bit more with this dewy look. With powders on, it doesn't usually... I didn't find it did that. Okay. Just subtly, I'm going to go across the forehead a little bit just to give you that natural look of shine. I kind of make like a, like a, an upside down hat almost, or kind of like a, a top hat formation on the top of my head and then a little bit between the brows. That's what makes you look really dewy. Put a little bit on your chin will make you look more dewy. Where is that other highlight? I'm going to go into the Pure Sculptor palette and I'm going to use this shade called Originator as my highlight now. I liked this a lot yesterday. So we're going to try it today. So I'm going to blend that on the tops of the cheekbones and then blend it out a little bit. Woo, that's blinding. Y'all see that? This might be a bit much. I'll have to blend it out a little. I think I got a little too much on that first time. Studio lights make everything look so different too. That's the hardest part is 
when you do your makeup in the studio and then you walk outside, you're like, wow, that looked amazing in there. And it did, it does look good in real life, but you just want to make sure it's not too intense because real life doesn't, isn't a studio light, you know? It's not lit by giant lamps. All right, I'm going to take my damp sponge again and just bounce over that to kind of make it go back to the um, more wet finish, like the dewy finish. It's the bottom. I'm going to go over it with the bottom of the sponge. It's still more damp. Now I'm going to go over it all with the Maybelline. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is in the shade Transparent, the pressed powder. And I'm going to go in with this brush by Farah. This is a 50F brush. I'm going to take that, tap it off, and I'm going to stipple it over my T-zone where I don't want a lot of oil. And then I'm going to go up into my forehead again where it tends to get shiny. I'm going to have to fix. I have a little blemish right there. Let's hide it real quick like. When you're hiding a blemish, always use the di darker, not the darker, like the shade of your foundation or the smidgen like darker, not a highlighting concealer because if you actually highlight a blemish, it makes it stand out more because light will reflect off of it and then you're making it stand out more. So don't cover a blemish with a light concealer, use the skin color, your foundation color, or ever so lightly darker. See, I already hit it. Looks way better. Now it just kind of looks like a freckle. Alright, so then I'm going to kind of blend the other colors together. I'm not necessarily adding a whole lot more powder. I'm just blending over it all so it'll look really cohesive. I am using a little bit of powder though because Otherwise, you're going to kind of move the product. So just lightly going over it all. All right. Now I'm going to try to touch up my brows really quick. I'll pause it because you don't need to watch me do that. Stick my tongue out and do all kinds of funny things. Okay, so now we're going to do the lips really quick. We're going to finish up with the lips. We're going to make it look a little more dewy. I'm going to go in with the Tarte lipstick. This is the Tarte Color Splash Shade Shifting Lipstick in the shade Body Surf. And this is kind of just like, oh wow, I didn't remember it being this metallic. Wow, I might change that in a minute, or throughout the day at least. I like it, but it's very sparkly for this natural look. For this more natural look, obviously it's not natural. I have a bunch of crap on my face. But, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? Should I change it? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so now, we're going to spray the face. I'm going to bust out my handy dandy little fan. Took me like three times to say that. I got this at the dollar store, actually. This was one dollar, and it is awesome. Look at that. It works great. Okay. Ah. Mm. Okay, so now, I'm going to take this. First off, I'm going to go in with the Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist and I'm going to spray pretty liberally from a distance. And then I'm going to like get any water droplets if there are any to let it dry while I make sure I have all the water droplets down or I I don't know, like press the product into the skin basically. And then we're going to take another setting spray. I need to buy a new one today because I'm like totally out of all my good setting sprays. I'm, they are on their last leg. We're going to go in with this dewy setting spray by Beauty Evolved for a luminous mist. Ugh, this is a much less fine spray and it gets little water droplets which I hate because if you let them dry they'll mess up the look of your makeup. So I'm going to get rid of any of those little droplets first. Put our handy dandy fan back on. I feel like I'm still not dewy enough. This was dewier yesterday. I don't think I put as much powder on yesterday when I did this look. All right, we're gonna do one more attempt for dewy. We're gonna go in with the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. 
and I love the smell of this but for some reason my spray used to be relatively fine and now sometimes it makes giant water droplets. You almost have to go really slow. Alright, there's giant water droplets everywhere. I can feel them. Oh no, it's on my eyelid. Oh, I hate that. Did I drop my squirt bottle or something? Does it just suck? I think it always had those giant water droplets, actually. If I remember correctly. Alright, so Allie Glines does this when she sets down her makeup. And I always talk about her and Kathleen Lights. If you follow my YouTube channel, you know that. So I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is the translucent uh, powder. And I'm going to take a uh, fluffy brush and I'm going to use this to set down my T-zone. Just so I make sure that these areas don't get as shiny. Because I want it to look beautiful and dewy, but I also don't want to look greasy in the end. So I'm just going to add those right there. And the areas where I get oily. That might have taken away more dew than I wanted it to. But it is dewy and this on me is going to get pretty dewy pretty fast because I have oilier skin. So relatively soon I'm going to look dewy again. I think I might pop on a smidgen more highlight. Just what's on the brush maybe. Because that also helps with a dewy look. What do y'all think? Obviously I'll change my hair. It looks a little interesting right now it's falling out of my bun okay do you guys like this look everyday dewy look while I chatted your ear off about my life uh, what else didn't I say that you need to hear I'm doing makeup for a wedding this weekend I'm excited I if you need your makeup done and you live locally near me I can do that um, and I'm making rates to put on my online site for that because I am also getting my beauty diploma online. The only thing is if you live super far away and you need your makeup done for an event, probably just pick someone local because it would cost more to fly me there than for you to get someone else. But maybe someday. We'll see how that goes. Anyways. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was in focus. I hope it was helpful for your summer dewy look and that you got to sort of get to know me a little bit or the place I am in my life right now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys next time. I love you all. Bye. I'm going to bust out my handy little fan. Handy dandy little. I'm going to bust out my handy dee. Handy. So I'm hoping I'm still in focus. Okay. Or that I've been in focus this whole time. As I said, I need a new.